Pantech Link. It's a feature phone, which is boring, I know, but hear me out, okay? It looks like a smartphone. I mean, it has that Blackberry-esque type styling to it. Not only that, but it's crazy thin, okay? It's like a centimeter thick. And it has a lot of other cool features. It has a music player, email client, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook apps. So it has a lot to offer. And, um, you know, to be honest, it's got a great keyboard. To be honest, I haven't been this excited about a messaging phone since probably the Samsung Impression, which I still think is the best messaging phone ever. But this one is very comparable. And um, interestingly, I was actually reading some uh, customer reviews, and a lot of people were had switched over or were thinking about switching over to the link from their Samsung impression. So, you know, it kind of gives you a hint as to the caliber of this device. Um, you know, it really does have a lot of features that say, you know, you like the BlackBerry type phone, uh, but you don't really need all that data. You don't want to have to pay $30 per month. You can get the link, which looks like a smartphone, and just get the messaging plan if that's all you need, or, or web browsing. So um, I think that, you know, something is a phone that you, you really should give a chance. We're going to do a full review, um, but just, you know, give it a chance. And not only that, but hey, it's freaking awesome. So anyway, let's go check it out. So this is the Pantech Link, and uh, like I said, you know, it does have a very nice design for being a feature phone. Um, it's nice whenever you can get a feature phone that, that still looks good. I mean, if you don't feel like um, putting out the extra money for a smartphone or if you don't need one, but you don't want a feature phone that, that looks cheap, you still want, want one that looks nice, the Pantech Link is perfect for that. And uh, like I said, really thin. It's a centimeter thick. So just going over the hardware, you've got these two soft keys that when you're in the main menu or the main home screen here, it goes to shortcuts and menu. Um, of course, the functionality of these buttons is going to change depending on which program you're using. And then you've got the end or power key, talk, send buttons, and then a back button, speakerphone function. And then this is a D-pad, the center button is also a selection key. When you're in the home screen here, this D-pad has um, different uh, pre-programmed shortcuts, uh, but it also can be used for navigating. And then of course the keyboard. The keyboard is really unique because the keys are extremely raised. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell um, just you know from me showing it to you, but if you were to compare it to any um, keyboard that's a similar style, um, kind of like the, the Samsung Flight or the original Lotus or uh, even the Palm Pixie in that chiclet style keyboard, um, these keys are just extremely domed and so uh, more so than I've ever seen. So that's nice um, so you can get some extra grip because they are kind of slippery um, but, but they do work really well just in testing it. Um, you know, I didn't really have any problem with typing. I definitely think that the keyboard is um, is a great one. Then, of course, you've got the 1.3 megapixel camera, which is a little, you know, uh, kind of on the on the cheap side there. But if all you're going to be doing is, you know, taking pictures and sending it, you know, it, it's not really a big deal. It also has um, zoom and uh, video capture, uh, self timer. One interesting thing that I found, um, I guess kind of by accident, is it has this dedicated camera key over here. So if you push that down, it'll take you to your camera. And then if you do a long hold while in the camera function, if you do a long hold on that button, it'll switch over to video capture, which is pretty cool. And then if you do a long hold again, it'll switch back over to uh, to camera. So so that's pretty nice. Now the screen itself, it's a 2.4 inch screen with a resolution of 320 by 240. Uh, it supports up to about 262,000 colors. So it's not a bad screen. Uh, of course, it's, it's a lower end device, so it's not going to be quite as clear or crisp as a smartphone, but I think it, you know, it's fine in the sunlight. It worked fine as well. It has a 930 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Um, back here, which it, it is sort of, um, it is, it could be better, I think. Uh, overall talk time, you're going to get up to three hours. So with, with standard to heavy use, the battery will last you about, about a day or day and a half, um, depending on how heavy you use it, that is. But then on standby or with little use, I found that it lasted about five days. So now on to uh, some of the features that it has. It's got AT&T GPS navigation, yellow pages. Um, it also has a music player. One cool thing about the music player, uh, I don't have any music here right now, but say you went to the music player and then you decided to play a song, 
um, it will actually play that song in the background while you do other things, uh, which is pretty cool. So say if I were playing it and then I go back to the home screen here, it would actually show uh, a little short uh, music player bar uh, with the, the song that's playing. And then you could, using the D-pad, you could skip to the next song, um, pause it, go backwards the song. So that's pretty cool. Um, Back to the menu here, you've got the App Center, so there are some apps that you can download, uh, including a few apps that are pre-installed. See here, you've got Mo Moby TV, AT&T Social Net, which you can use for uh, Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace, mobile banking. Another cool feature here is this online locker. Uh, so if I went to this and say I had a picture and I wanted to upload it to my Facebook account, MySpace, a photo book bucket. I could even send it to my computer if I wanted to. It's really easy. You can do that all right here. You can also do the same thing with um, any apps that you've downloaded or, or programs. So that's a pretty cool feature. One more thing here in the menu is that you've also got mobile email. So this supports, of course, Yahoo, MSN, Gmail. Um, that's, that's a really nice feature. You can get all of your email there. It also supports Bluetooth, has a, uh, has a web browser. This is actually Opera Mini 4.2, so it's a pretty good web browser. Now the phone does have a uh, memory card slot, a micro SD card slot. It doesn't come with a memory card, uh, but it does have the slot there, so uh, you can put that in. So I talked earlier about the keyboard, and um, I'll just show you guys how, how it works. Um, I mean, if, if we go to the messaging interface is pretty cool because it shows everything by conversation. Uh, but anyway, so if I create a message, and we'll just do the usual, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So, perfect. No errors. It's really easy to use. I'll show you guys some web browsing. No. So you can see the speed. Of course, you know, the speed on a phone like this is not the most important thing because you kind of know you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit. But just so you guys can get an idea of what it's going to be like. This is, of course, on AT&T's 3G network. So you can see there you're going to get 3G speeds most of the time. I have it right now. It's connecting. Uh, I was going to show you guys the uh, the web browser and show you a little bit of um, functionality and speeds, but I'm having some trouble right now with uh, AT&T's network, so um, can't really show that to you. But whenever I was testing it, um, the speeds were pretty good. I was I was pretty satisfied with that. Phone Dog's website took a little under a minute to load, which is about about right for a feature phone like this. So anyway, there it is, guys. The the Pantech Link from AT&T. You can get it right now for $9.99. Uh, on contract after rebate. So for 10 bucks you can get this phone that doesn't look or feel cheap at all and uh, which, is, which is really good. I think, you know, I can't stress enough how important design is to a device, especially a feature phone because no one wants, you know, a, a thick bulky feature phone that looks like a feature phone and, uh, you know, it's nice whenever you can get a phone that's inexpensive, has all the features you need but still looks great. So I would definitely recommend it, guys. And the keyboard is also great, too. You can pick it up at your AT&T stores right now. Uh, it only com comes in one co color, which apparently is black, I guess. But, um, you know, there it is. Anyway, uh, be sure and check out PhoneDog.com for other news, updates, and reviews. And uh, in the meantime, thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and I'll see you guys later. Link. It's a feature phone, which is boring, I know, but hear me out, okay? It looks like a smartphone. I mean, it has that Blackberry-esque type styling to it. Not only that, but it's crazy thin, okay? It's like a centimeter thick. And it has a lot of other cool features. It has a music player, email client, Twitter, MySpace, Facebook apps. So it has a lot to offer. And, um, you know, to be honest, it's got a great keyboard. To be honest, I haven't been this excited about a messaging phone since Probably the Samsung Impression, which I still think is the best messaging phone ever, but this one is very comparable. And um, interestingly, I was actually reading some uh, customer reviews, and a lot of people were had switched over or were thinking about switching over to the link from their Samsung Impression. So, you know, it kind of gives you a hint as to the caliber of this device. Um, you know, it really does have a lot of features that, say, you know, you like the BlackBerry 